Ask the Expert continues. Brenda Hollingsworth, personal injury lawyer, is here. Uh, we're talking about, amongst other things today, how to select a lawyer in cases of personal injury. I mean, there are many different types of lawyers out there. Right. You focus specifically on personal injury cases. Yeah, virtually 100% of our practice is personal injury. Right, right. And you'd be surprised at the amount of cases there are in this regard, correct? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I mean, I have I have hundreds, and yeah. there are many other lawyers, lawyers in like Ottawa. you. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. There's, there's probably 1,500 personal injury uh, cases in Ottawa at any yeah. one time. Uh, we touched on a couple of important questions earlier, and I know um, you know one of the first things people want to know is how much can I get out of my case? Right. But that shouldn't be a question in the initial contact with a lawyer. Well, it's just the lawyer's not going to be able to give you a realistic and be aware amount. if they do give you that information yeah, they're, voluntarily. They're just trying to trying to yeah, yeah, trying to secure Literally. you as a client right. by telling you I'm going to get you twenty five thousand dollars. Right. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them talking in general ger generality. Like I will always tell you, the maximum you can get for pain and suffering in Ontario is about three hundred and forty thousand dollars. Because I want you to understand that that you know you're not going to you're not going to get millions of dollars for pain and suffering. You're this not is not the United money. States. That's right. Yeah. Because it's different. Yeah, I mean it is different, but on the plus side, our drivers generally have insurance, whereas you could easily have a million dollar case in in a state where there's either no insurance or the person only has fifteen thousand dollars insurance. Right. So here, at least you're probably going to get the money that you're entitled to. Okay. Yeah, and that 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 is not insignificant. Right. Fair enough. Right. Um, I should be uh, asking you to meet in person if I call you, correct? Yeah. I be mean, sometimes people are too injured to come in. Right. And we'll go to you. We right. go to people's houses all the time. We go to the hospital all the time. Right. But sometimes it's not possible and you want, you know, fast advice. And yeah. we will do phone consultations. Okay, fair enough. But I don't want to talk to some lawyer who is in uh, another city in this province, right? Right. Um, because, you know, there's a lot of Toronto lawyers who are now advertising, personal injury lawyers, advertising in this market. Right, right. Uh, hoping to scoop up clients in Ottawa. And to me, it just doesn't seem like a good idea to have a Toronto lawyer involved in a case that happened in Ottawa. Well, there, I mean, there are a lot of downsides for that. For one thing, uh, if your case has to go to trial, most don't, but if it does, that lawyer will have to come to Ottawa and stay in a hotel and incur a lot of expenses. Which you will pay for. Which you will pay for. Uh, and that creates somewhat of a disincentive for them, right? They're gonna they're gonna wanna settle your case for whatever they can get to Without. avoid having to do the trial here. That's an important consideration. The other really important consideration is that the Ottawa lawyers know the rehab people in Ottawa. So in terms of getting you the best occupational therapist... Because you look after that too in, yeah, in well, certain we, cases, yeah, right? Yeah, we make suggestions for sure. We know who's good. We know who tends to work more for the insurance company. And while we don't, we don't pick medical people, we certainly give advice and we're able to give that advice... Recommendations. ...from knowledge, right? Yeah. We know how they were with our past clients. Yeah. So that, well, I think that's a really important service. Yeah. Expert uh, doctors as well. We're able to get you in to see uh, doctors for medical legal assessment uh, right. assessments here. Which, you know, the average Joe wouldn't have the first clue about. Right. To right, be honest. Right. And you know, the chance if you go to see a Toronto lawyer. Toronto lawyer's not going to know what's going on in Ottawa. Well, you're going to go to Toronto for the assessment too, right? And then when when you have a trial, that Toronto doctor is going to come to Ottawa, and that's going to be an added expense. Holy smokes! Really? Yeah. So. I mean, there's people will choose yeah, who's right, but exactly. you have to have your eyes open. Watch out for that sort of thing. Yeah. You know, uh, there's so many questions we could get into, uh, but the best advice I can give to people is to to get in contact with your office, right? And ask the questions that need to be asked. Set up an appointment and move on from there. Yeah, that's right. I mean, the, these questions, hiring a personal injury lawyer on our website uh, should be a good starting point for your interview of lawyers. Right. Use them for everybody, not right. just us. Ask everybody those questions and see how they do. If you'd like to get in touch with uh, Brenda Hollingsworth, personal injury lawyer, uh, there are many ways to do that. Email info at ottawalawfirm.ca. There's askbrenda.ca at the website. Or give them a call. See the telephone number on your screen. Brenda, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Great advice today uh, for people who may be in a situation where personal injury comes into play.